Breathe. The Stress Less Podcast is brought to you by iBelieve.com and is a part of the Life Audio Faith Toolkit series. For more inspirational, faith-affirming podcasts, visit lifeaudio.com. Hi, this is Bonnie Gray, author of Whispers of Rest and Finding Spiritual White Space. I'm so glad you're here. I'm your host for Breathe, the Stressless Podcast. And on every show, we're going to take a little time out of our day to pause and breathe, to rest and refresh with God together. We'll explore a different topic about stress and learn what God has for us to encourage each other. I'll share an inspiring story with you. And we'll also rest into some wonderful, beautiful scripture to feel God's love. We'll hear words of affirmation from God, loving words. And then I'll guide you to do something loving for yourself, a soul care practice, a soul care tip to spark joy, actions you can take so that you can experience the love that God has for you and take better care of yourself. Then we will rest by refreshing ourselves with a prayer to send us off into our day. A wonderful little echo, a pocket of rest that we can take with us. Or maybe if you're listening to this podcast at night, then you can just soften the day and sink into a wonderful evening with God. Thank you for joining me on our first podcast. Last time on episode one, we talked about breath prayers and how you are worth loving. Today, we are going to be talking about lifting the burden of busy. You know, in modern day life, our schedules tend to be very, very packed and optimized. We have a lot of different expectations that we feel pressure to have to meet. And we also put expectations on ourselves and it's hard to know which are the things that we can take off. Oftentimes when I chat with women or whenever I go speak, um, a lot of people say to me, well, Bonnie, I don't even know what I would take off my schedule. Well, today we're going to give ourselves permission to lift the burden of busy Well, one of the stories that I love to tell is, and I want to know if this has happened to you, is that I get up in the morning and I am preoccupied already. There's a long list of things that I know I need to get done, I need to do. The day just started. The whole week could be fresh and new. You know, say it's Monday morning, and yet I already feel tired before the work even begins because there's no space in my heart for something that God is going to invite us into today. My my soul is already burdened. You know, the sun is shining, the sky is blue outside, but I don't really notice even though I'm, you know, getting the cup out of the cupboard and I'm not noticing the beauty that's out there. Well, as I was in my PJs Getting my coffee started, you know, I want to multitask and I'm so preoccupied running through all the tasks in my mind. Can you imagine how upset and bewildered I was when after trying to put a pot of coffee into the coffee maker, I go and get dressed, I run back down, I'm thinking, okay, my coffee's ready. And I find a pot of clear water sitting in the coffee pot, staring back at me. I check the power cord. It was plugged. Okay, what's going on? Um, I was so preoccupied, stacking my whole week up in my mind, those early morning minutes, as I put in the filter and filtered the water in the water tank, that I forgot the most important thing, friends. Guess what it was? I flipped the lid open, and uh, yes, I forgot to put the coffee grounds in the coffee filter. So as I started making another pot of coffee, Um, feeling frustrated that, oh, why did I forget that? I realized God was quietly, gently tapping on my heart. God was saying, Bonnie, you're too busy. You're too busy. And God doesn't put guilt on us. I want to share this scripture that floated into my heart. That's just so beautiful. It's a beautiful invitation that God has for you today. Listen now. As Jesus reaches for your hand to whisper, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. That's in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 29. 
Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. You know, I love this verse because God helped me see that Jesus doesn't say, come to me strong and cheerful and happy without worries. In fact, Jesus is the opposite. Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens. So we're invited by Jesus to come to him, however we're feeling, whether we're confused, numb, anxious, angry, or stressed. Jesus tells us to simply come. Well, how do we do that? Do you ever feel that way? How about you? What is it that helps you feel close to God? What helps you kind of stop and pause and kind of step out of that mode where you're preoccupied and just ruminating and stuck and stressed with all the busyness? What, what helps you? I'm curious. Sometimes we forget because um, the things that once brought us peace and joy, they're still there. It's just if we would just give ourselves opportunity to remember. So what is it, I am curious, that helps you to feel God's presence? For you, is it the beach? Is it the ocean? Or maybe it's the trees. It's the woods, the mountains. Or could it be a place in your home? Maybe a spot in your home where you can sit and feel the sun on your your skin as you sip a cup of tea. Is there a practice that helps you to remember that God cares about you? Where sometimes we don't want to stop. We just want to keep going in on survival mode because it's easier to just keep doing. And maybe sometimes when we stop, all the things that are bothering us, all those things that are maybe unresolved, loose ends, whether it be um, relationships or problems or, you know, things that are just in progress, they're not resolved yet, they might surface. But God says, Jesus says, I want all of that. All those things you push to the side, I welcome. I welcome you to come with me and confide in me. I care about you. How you feel matters to me. Jesus says, I see you and I care about you. So just like that, the coffee grinds that I left out of the coffee maker, you know, we we kind of lose our spark. We forget that God's love, God's care is what can help us and give us the strength to, you know, face those tough challenges in our day, to get through our days when we have taken time to receive from God and, um, you know, to to make that space, to make that space. I love that um, we are not human doings. We are human beings. We are not robots. God didn't create us to just be in constant survival mode. So God created us to be known, to be vulnerable, and to receive. So we can only pour out if we can refill our tanks, right? We need to have that space to let God touch and refill us so that we can feel his peace. Well, one of the wonderful ways um, that we can do it today, soul care practice is to take a 10 minute walk outside in nature. Sometimes when we're so busy, we might feel like, gosh, that 10 minutes is really not going to do anything for us. You know, and so we just kind of like, oh, forget it. I, if I don't have time for a 30 minute or big chunk of time, we just kind of throw everything out the door, out the window. But research shows that just 10 minutes of walking in nature refreshes you, boosting your mood and helping with anxiety, depression in schoolwork, in our workplace or in everyday life. Just 10 minutes research shows it's a natural booster of uh, releasing the happy hormones and um, the part of our brain that ruminates, it gets interrupted as we get some movement. We go outside and we can see the sun, we can see the sky, we can feel the wind as um, it brushes up against us. So, you know, praying doesn't need to happen while we're sitting at home. 
My favorite time to take a walk and to pray happens after I drop the kids off at school. I'm not a morning person, so when I first wake up, I need to get that coffee, and I need to, I have a 10-year-old and a 13-year-old, two boys, and so I, you know, go through the whole breakfast routine and make sure that they're sent off to school, so um, I I don't feel like my time happens um, to relax with God for that 10 minute walk until after they've gone to school. Then I go take a walk on a trail. So for you, it might happen at lunch. It might happen mid morning or afternoon, or maybe um, after dinner. If it's uh, early enough, you can take a walk, but whatever that is for you, take that 10 minute walk and let God touch you and take the pressure off yourself to find words to pray. Sometimes we keep ourselves from um, feeling God's presence because we might feel we need to talk or we need to report into God. We need to tell him everything, but we can spend our prayer time by simply resting in God's presence in nature and allow God to refresh you, allow God to touch you. The most intimate conversations happen spontaneously when you finally have space to breathe. It'll naturally happen. For myself, um, I came from a divorced family. My dad left when I was seven. So I've always looked to God as my father, my provider. So um, during an earlier walk in my spiritual journey with God, um, I look to God as a provide my provider. But I've learned that God wants to be more than just my provider. God longs to be my soul's confidant. Deep when I feel lonely, where I struggle to receive and make space for myself, that's where God wants to share, share his heart with me. And loneliness is something I usually cover up by getting things done. So that's something interesting to think about. Like, what is it that kind of drives us to be busy? So for me, um, staying busy um, keeps me from, I guess, feeling and kind of thinking about the things that maybe are getting me down. Um, And I'm well rewarded for checking boxes and being productive, even in ministry. But By the end of the day, if I haven't had that time with God that's kind of nurturing for my soul, like this walk, then at the end of the day, even though I've gotten a lot done, I don't feel, I don't feel restful. And um, my mind is still full of lots of to-dos because I didn't nurture my soul with God. And so I can, it can be easier for me to take care of others and get things done for God rather than being vulnerable with my needs. But God has shown me And he's still showing me that prayer is an intimate soul conversation to allow me to be loved and known rather than a spiritual transaction to be made better. So do you ever feel this way? Do you ever feel yourself longing for God's touch? Well, remember that Jesus understands, understands, and he wants to be near with you. He wants to be near to you. So I hope that you can take opportunity to practice the soul care of just walking, walking outside and feeling refreshed. And as you do, you'll feel God's nearness. I love Psalm 73, 28. It says, but as for me, the nearness of my God is my good. I've made the Lord God my refuge. Let's pray. Let's end our time with a prayer. Dear Jesus, I don't know how not to be busy but remind me by touching my heart in the moments where I try to hide from the things that are really inside me. Remind me that you invite me to just come to you just as I am. You call me to come to you. Help me, Jesus, to trust you to lay my burdens down. Thank you for never giving up on me and for quietly waiting for me to confide in you to lay down my burdens, to let you love me today. Amen. Whatever you're carrying, lay it down. Lay down everything you were never intended to carry, friend, never intended to carry alone. Or maybe you had to carry a burden for a time in your life, but God may not be calling you to carry it indefinitely, right? It may be time for you to let go of that burden.
There is no burden that is too heavy that God cannot carry for you. Cast your cares on Jesus because he hears your voice and he cares for you. He calls you beloved. So when you find yourself pressed up against a busy schedule, rather than being harder on yourself, when you feel stressed, nurture, nurture your heart, make time to prioritize your well-being and let go and confide in what it is or turn to someone and share what's been going on. Do what brings you physical and emotional rest and be kind to yourself. Well, I hope that today's podcast has given you a chance to remind you how loved you are and how important you are to God. And I hope that it can cheer you on and cheer your day. Well, if you have enjoyed today's Breathe Stressless podcast, I can't wait to share more with you on our next show. If you have felt encouraged on today's podcast, I would love to continue encouraging you. Sign up for my weekly newsletter. I share what encourages my heart with you as it unfolds for me. Just sign up on my weekly for my weekly newsletter at thebonniegray.com. At thebonniegray.com, you'll see a subscribe button. You'll be able to get my weekly newsletter and grab a copy of my book, Whispers of Rest, 40 Days of God's Love to Revitalize Your Soul. You'll find 40 ways to find rest and practice simple soul care inspired by scripture, loving scripture that's based on scientific research so that you can feel God's peace and presence and take better care of yourself in everyday life. Connect with me on Facebook and Instagram. If you're on Facebook and Instagram, I'd love to slip you God's love notes to encourage you so that you can stress less. So you can find me on social media at the Bonnie Gray. Remember that you're loved, you're cherished. You are worth it. Just rest. Okay, see you next time. Hey everyone, thanks for listening to Breathe the Stress Less Podcast, a production of lifeaudio.com and the Salem Web Network. If you enjoyed what you heard today, we'd love for you to head over to your favorite podcast app and leave us a review. It really does help people find us. To learn more about Bonnie Gray or to check out any of the resources she mentioned in this episode, just head over to her website, thebonniegray.com, or check out our show notes. This episode was produced by me, Kelly Givens, and edited by Stephen Sanders. A special thanks to our executive producer, Stephen McGarvey. For more Faith Toolkit podcasts, head over to lifeaudio.com.